So this is something new. Don't freak out. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and I'm sorry for the weirdness, but I'm actually at a school um, on my break. There's no kids here, you know, <laughs> they're, they're off. So um, I don't have much time in my schedule to do this at home. So I decided to do it here. Sorry if the audio is a little weird. I'm trying to like not disturb anyone else. And sorry for the weird background. I'm also trying to do this as fast as possible because I have a limited amount of time. It's like, what, 13 minutes to record on my phone. So yeah, so let's get to it. In today's video, I wanted to go over how one would find ideas for their stories, their songs, you know, whatever it is. This is a kind of hard one to explain because everyone finds ideas differently. Um, so a lot of this will be, of course, big examples from my own writing, you know, process and all of that. And hopefully that'll help you. Um, if you find that these don't work for you, hey, at least you know they don't work for you. If you find that they work for you or it's, you know, you do a little bit differently or there's something else that you could add to the list, definitely tell me in the comments below. I love hearing from you all and I would love to hear your, you know, stories of how you find ideas. It's, yeah, very exciting. So I find my ideas in three different ways. There's intentionally, randomly, and on the side burner. And I will explain that one in just a second. So the first one, intentionally. This is where I sit down with an outline of my entire book. So for example, in my book, Pride, one that I'm actually redoing, and that's a whole story unto itself, there are three main characters, Lavanya, Kai, and Sadiq. So if I wanted to have Kai and Sadiq have more screen time together, you know, more scenes together, how would I do that? And I would have my entire outline probably set out on paper where I can look from one to the other really easily. And I would go, hmm, okay, so they're here together. Maybe I could extend the scene or, oh, look, Lavanya, who knows both Sadiq and Kai, is over here. Maybe I could get her to get Kai there and then her, Kai, and Sadiq can have this moment together. And then maybe, oh no, Lavanya disappears or something. So stuff like that, intentionally sitting down, trying to figure out, that is good. A very, very good way to do this is to make an outline. I don't care if you are a plotter, a plotzer, or a pantser, make an outline. Like even whether it's before, during, or after your first draft, you need to have an outline because this is going to show you, hmm, where are the plot holes in my story? What needs to be done to make it a better story? Are my characters actually like, doing really really well or are they just like you know paper and once you have that outline you can see where you need to fill in gaps if you need to extend a scene or shorten a scene it could be a very extensive outline it could be an outline like just says scene at bar and then what happens underneath there are many different ways to do an outline and I might have a video come out about that but yes definitely have an outline and intentionally look for them search for them. Kind of like when you have to make time to write, you also have to make spots for new ideas. The second way I find ideas is randomly. So randomly is really kind of cool. Um, it just pops up. I have trained myself to look at everything as a potential idea. Even if I don't use it in my current work in progress, I will use it somewhere else. This is why I always go out with Evernote on my phone or with a pen or pencil. I've even had some times where I only have a pen and so I'll mark on my hand or I'll grab a receipt and mark down and I'll save that. And these ideas can come from anywhere. If you accidentally overhear someone because you know you shouldn't be eavesdropping, if you accidentally hear someone say, oh well I know what she did last night, start writing it down. Or if your friend says, a, totally hilarious joke write it down you can totally put it as a funny part in a scene or something even if you have a serious novel and along with this you need to be open to the idea that anything can work for your novel if your novel is a comedy it's funny and all that a rom-com type thing think of ideas that might work for a rom-com it's like oh no what if it's a rom-com murder mystery so maybe this murder that happened oh wow i need to write that down Oh, but look, this person did something funny. 
You need to write that down along with it. Or maybe you are into young adult fantasy like most of the world is. What can work for that? I mean, Harry Potter came from London and he lived underneath a staircase for the longest time, you know? You could use that. Maybe not that particular thing. That's something weird that adds a little depth to Harry Potter himself. So be open to anything being an idea. And if something sounds interesting, even if it doesn't make sense, write it down. And I get those ideas from movies I watch, from books I read, from friends talking randomly. And then once you're open to the idea that anything could be an idea for a story, you will start inspiring yourself to find them. It will feel like they'll come to you and it's so amazing. The third way I do it is the side burner technique. Okay, this really isn't a technique. Well, I guess it is, I don't know. You be the judge. If you have spoken English for a long time or just love idioms in many different languages, you will put something on the back burner, meaning you're not going to pay attention to it right now, but you see it simmering, it's still on there, it's still on your schedule, right? This side burner technique is putting it to the side. So how I do it is when I've been stared at my computer for a long time and I'm so tired, I will get up, I will go do something so mundane that it'll help me think. Mundane tasks include doing the dishes, vacuuming, doing laundry, cleaning your room that is an entire mess because you just sewed something together. Sewing something? I sewed, sewed, sewed? One of the best things to do is to go out for a walk, especially on a nice sunny day. Now I know some people can't walk, but being out in the sun really does help. Even if you're the type of person that can't handle the sunlight for too long, definitely go out for five, 10 minutes. Try your best to get out in the sun because sunlight helps people. We're kind of like plants in that way. We need the sun, we need the vitamin D to grow, to not be wary, to not be so tired and depressed about everything in life. But also walking, even for a little bit, even for five minutes, actually starts up your brain process. Now, I don't know all the technicalities, but I have read a lot of research that indicates that sunlight and walking really good to stimulate the creative mind. So, you know, think about that. When you're doing these things, you're allowing your mind to focus on something else and your body to focus on something else and get a little bit of exercise, but you're also still thinking a little bit about your story. I'll be doing dishes and being like, okay, so Kai needs to get from point A to point B. How do I do that? Hmm. And doing it that way, since your body is doing something and being physical, but your mind is, you know, somewhere else and all that, that helps so much. It's helped me get through a lot of my story in a short amount of time, and it's really, really good. So hopefully it'll help you. Now with all of these, I suggest that you take about two to four weeks to get used to them and to try them out. You know, it's not just gonna be like, boom, day, cool, it's done. Immediately, awesomeness. It might take you a little while, so try it out for two weeks to a month and see how it goes for you. So that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for putting up with the random background and hopefully not too terrible audio. I know that my voice is getting all scratchy and all that, so hopefully it doesn't show up in the video too much. And yeah. So if these work for you or if they don't, or you have another way to get ideas, just let me know and I'll see y'all later alligators. Bye bye.